everybody, I'm Gabby and this is Gabby Tech. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for being here again. In this video, we will speak a little bit about how to fix our dust problems when we have a lot of technologies around our houses. And I will show you what do I use to fix my dust problem. But before that, I want to remind you to earn, enroll for my Ditto giveaway, Divom Ditto giveaway, which is a mini Bluetooth speaker that looks like a retro computer and you would really love it. If you want to know how to enroll for the giveaway, you can see my Divom D2 review and you can find the way to enroll there in the video. And for here, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And the giveaway, the present, it will be given at 5k subs. So more subs, the closer the giveaway will be. Let's start now. You know, when you live in a city that there is a lot of dust, especially if you're living next to a big boulevard, like I do, there is dust all the time, every day, every day. No matter how much you vacuum clean, there is dust every day. That's why I have some solutions for myself that I saw so they work partially. One of them is for my special Xiaomi Mi Air Purifier Pro. This is an air purifier with a lot of positive features. One of them is collecting the dust because of the special HEPA filter that it has inside it and a lot of layers on top of it. And it actually helps with the collecting the dust because when I didn't have filter it was a little bit more dusty. Then, of course, when you have dust problems you need a very nice team of vacuum cleaners and cleaners to clean your house around. And this is my team of vacuum cleaners here. Most of them you can recognize from a previous reviews that I have done about them. This is most of them a review sample, except this one that I bought from Philips. But each one of them has a special characteristics and features that makes it unique. The first one is Medium Easy Home, my relatively new vacuum cleaner that is very easy to use, very compact to keep. And it has my favorite feature, the LED lights here on the bottom, that shows you the corners and if you missed some space to clean. And it also has two assets here for the mini vacuum cleaner here. It has a container, a filter that you should maintain once a week or no matter how much you use the vacuum cleaner, it depends how much you use the vacuum cleaner. And it has a special stand. It's very convenient and very light also. That's what I like very much about Medion. It's light, convenient, and it's also quite powerful. The second one is from Philips Power Pro Duo. You can check the review also about it to see how it performs and so on. But it's again, with Leon battery, both of them are wireless, by the way, it's two in one because it has a mini vacuum cleaner attachment again. It's nice and classy looking vacuum cleaner. I don't know why, but I like it, it's white, silver, and it also has double power cyclonic filtration, filtration system that you can maintain by just washing the filter on in the tap. It's nice, I like it, I use it very frequently, especially the mini version, even though it doesn't have special assets. It's also very sturdy and you can wheel it around the house easily. But my very favorite is this one, Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. That's one of the best vacuum cleaner and mop in one. Do you know how annoying it is first to vacuum clean then to mop the house? With Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro, you can skip the part of vacuum cleaning and mopping separately because it does both of the jobs just for you. There is a cordless version, but I like this one also, even though it has cord, it's very convenient to use and it's very powerful, especially if you have a pet. Even if you don't have a pet, I feel myself like a pet because I have so much hairs and this one cleans perfectly. Trust me, if you vacuum clean with a normal vacuum cleaner and then mop, the results still won't be the same, like if you mop and vacuum clean with this one at the same time. Because the cell uses clean water all the time because of its special container on the back. You just vacuum clean and spray the clean water and then everything gets collected into this small container and trust me, the water will be so black that you will be wondering how I was living in this dirty house. Sometimes I even have to use two, three new containers, two, three waters in order to clean my house perfect. How the Bissell is working? It has two main components. One of them is the filter. A special filter here that you should maintain every six months or once a year, it depends how much you use a vacuum cleaner and a brush. There is different kinds of brushes and this one is my favorite because it has microfibers and also a plastic fibers here for the more dirty dry places. These are the new ones that they send it to me from AliExpress. Three filters and three brushes in 
you can see them there on amazing price i will see a link for you thank you very much for the seller that sent this to me these are the old one filter and a brush you i touched them just for the video they look extremely dirty but i have used them one year this is the most economical vacuum cleaner ever you just buy filter and a brush once a year and that's it there is a special bcl solution for the vacuum cleaner but it's not needed to use it you can get a normal solution also trust me and they also gave me this brush in order to clean the small places around where it is collected these are my three princesses team of vacuum cleaners and the last one but not the least one Proventa Swift Power Cyclonic you can see the separate video about it it's okay old style vacuum cleaner but trust me it's 10 times it's two times more powerful than the other one the cordless ones because it's a classic this is just a classic and the specialty about it it has no back so no dust back changing and it has double or triple filtration system and you just change the filter once a year my favorite combo is this one plus this one because this one sometimes can't go to the corners obviously and this one can get attached or deattached and go to the corners and clean them very well that's why I use mainly this one and this one and this one or this one for the small places like tables, couch and so on basically I use three of them you need three vacuum cleanups in your life that's what I learned and to clean your computer you use an air compressor by the way you can check my how to clean your computer with air compressor video I know it's old but you need to find it and also your Bosch glass vac special machine to clean glass right here this is my most favorite ever machine because it cleans so nicely that I want to use it everywhere not only on glass even on cupboards it also has a sucking function and first you spray with this and you suck with the other one flawless results you can also see a video about it now since you stay till end of the video I will tell you a very interesting story how can one bottle of beer cost you a lot from your life? You'll say, what is this guy? I said, again, poisoning. But this time it's not like uh, criminal poisoning. It's just a basic mistake. Basically, we have two separate people in the story. One of them is normal person who just went to party to drink beer. And the other one is an alcoholic who was just not having enough alcohol and was looking for more. Basically, first, before I tell you the story, I need to mention that when the glass bottles are being produced in the fabric they get disinfected with sodium hydroxide you know sodium hydroxide is corrosive substance you know what it does you have seen you know this canaline that you put in your um, pipe in order to unclog it this is kind of uh, sodium hydroxide and you know how it burns and it smells it's not pleasant and trust me if you imagine it in more concentrated form it can do pretty bad stuff to you now I want to ask you what do you think is more dangerous to drink uh, sodium hydroxide or um, sulfuric acid most of the people would say sulfuric acid but actually the truth is that sodium hydroxide is more dangerous if you accidentally drink sodium hydroxide this can cost you a lot especially your esophagus you know esophagus is the tube that you used to, for the food in your body if you can say it in a more non-medical language you imagine this layer of tissue if you put one drop of sodium hydroxide it will go deeper it will cause colicative necrosis it will go deeper and the acid will stay on the surface and it will burn on the surface and since the sodium hydroxide is going deeper that means more problems so he bought a beer on the party and he started drinking from the beer at some point he felt something unusual in the taste and he stopped drinking he drank half a bottle let's say well the other person in completely separate place wanted more alcohol and he went in some basement looking for alcohol but accidentally he took the bottle of sodium hydroxide and drank from it but after he drank one two seconds after he started swallowing he started he felt that something is wrong he started puking uh, foam was coming out and so on from the mouth because of the reaction between the sodium hydroxide and the tissue and both of them are going in the same hospital and this is my professor story told us the guy who drank the beer started having very big problems since he drank the beer into it all through, through all of his esophagus he started having uh, sw getting swollen um, edema you know like pulmonary edema but this is just edema a lot of problems couldn't breathe couldn't eat nothing while the other person yes he had the same complications but mainly in the upper part of the gastrointestinal tract 
here in his uh, mouth, the mouth structures and the beginning of his esophagus and eventually after 10 days he got recovered while the other guy with the beer he didn't get recovered and what can be dangerous in your esophagus burning afterwards when the wounds start healing let's say it that way they can cause a special fibrosis tissue that can close completely the esophagus and you can't swallow anymore you can't do anything basically you can't eat and then you die if you're if you survive to that time if you don't have some kind of uh, internal bleeding however then his esophagus closed and eventually he had to change all of his esophagus and his wife dumped him because she said she said he's not a human anymore since he don't have esophagus well the other alcoholic survived with completely okay esophagus and he was happy and living ever after it's funny isn't it no it's not exactly funny what is the substance that you need to take after you accidentally drink sodium hydroxide milk Yes, milk. Because milk has special protein called albumin that makes a, a special substance with the natrium, with the sodium hydroxide, and that's way it removes the effect of the sodium hydroxide. Normally, the milk is dangerous in every other way of poisoning, especially with organic uh, substances. But since sodium hydroxide is non organic substance, the milk is the antidote, or if we can say antidote. Normally, you would drink water, but if you drink water here, oh no, 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 it gets even worse. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel, and if you want more stories like this, hit the like button.